thing is so quick. Today, I'm driving the Nissan GT-R. This is the facelift one, I believe the 2019 model. Very excited, this is a beast. It's actually one of my favorite cars. I mean, who isn't a, a fan of a GT-R? R34, R35, doesn't matter. A GT-R, it's a GT-R. And on my left side, we have Gobin with his Q60. That's the 3.0. This is not the Red Sport, but it's heavily tuned. And from what I've seen driving and seeing him in action, it is pretty wild. <laughs> So today we're gonna do quarter mile test roll and from a dig to see how these two compare. Can the less expensive version tuned Q60 take over this? The VR30 is the engine used in the new Z, but the new Z comes rear-wheel drive, automatic, and manual transmission. Meanwhile, the Q60 Sports, the one that we have, not Red Sport, it's not the RS one, it's the base model, but with the V6 twin turbo, uh, that's tuned. So let's talk about some of the specs. The Q60 uses a three liter V6 twin turbo all wheel drive. It uses a seven speed automatic transmission, unfortunately an updated one, updated one. It makes 500 brake horsepower and 510 torque, but it weighs 3,950, it's pretty heavy. And the GTR uses a 3.8 liter V6 twin turbo making 565 brake horsepower. And it uses a six speed dual clutch transmission and it is all wheel drive. 467 torque, very torquey. But it weighs 3,915 pounds, which is about 35 pounds lighter than that. So this on paper should take it in comparison to the Q60, but today, we're gonna find out how good is that Q60 tuned, but it's an all-wheel drive, so they're both all-wheel drives. So, as I say, let's roll! If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my other videos on my channel. Oh, this thing is so 
So I'm gonna do mine in manual mode because this thing does not do well as we know in automatic mode, it just doesn't go into the right gear. Um, are you ready, sir? I am ready. Let's roll! Second gear. Like, I got it at a perfect gear, perfect time. Everything just went nice and smooth. Robin, it was fantastic. Thank you, sir, for making this happen. I know you brought both cars, and special thanks goes to Dan for allowing me to drive his GTR. This is my first time racing a GTR on my channel, which is awesome. This was a brilliant race. It kept up well. That car of yours, shocking, right? Can you hear me? That car of yours kept up very well. Thank you so much for joining us. It was awesome. I, I shifted perfectly. I, I got the car ready in every corner. Like it was perfect and every, like the, the shifting was like perfect. I didn't buck down, didn't shift too early, too late. It was brilliant. On your side, how was everything? Hey, uh, I was just passing you. Uh, looks like we had a pretty even start. Um, yeah, that was a solid race. Thanks for the invite, Sam. I really appreciate it. Thank you. This was awesome. It's the first time I raced the GTR on my channel. Everything went well. The problem is like, that car is so quick. That, um, the GTR launched perfectly. If you're questioning that, that's not even an issue. The problem is that the way that tuned car launches, it's slightly faster. This thing has a bit of like a delay a little bit and it just goes and it puts you back on your seat, which I absolutely love this car. Special thanks goes to Dan, the owner of this car. He was kind enough to join us and he was driving it himself too. It was his first time launching this, which is kind of crazy himself, but uh, it was a lot of fun. This thing is one of my favorite sports cars. I love it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my other videos on my channel.